Mabuhay! Kumusta? I'm your guru, Albine. I help people learn Tagalog. Do you wish to learn Tagalog? Come join me. Come join me and Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Kumusta? There you go. And there's Bruce. Audio only, Bruce. Bruce is one of the Porenoys practicing Tagalog. But what is a Porenoy? A Porenoy is a foreigner, but not really a foreigner in the Philippines. Is it your first time in this channel? If you wish to see more of Tagalog language tutorials or general Tagalog practice episodes, consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribe, please. And if you're subscribed already, kindly hit the bell notification button so you won't miss the future new episodes. And it's Tagalog conversation today. This consists of two parts. First is the dramatization. And the second part is the Tagalog to English translation with quick Tagalog tutorial. Are you ready? Let's begin. Yay! Yay! Ang nakaraan. Dumating ang mga muebles na binili ni Aling Esther. Tumulong sina Mars at Rico sa pagsasaayos ng sala sa apartment na kanilang tinutuluyan. Natapos na rin sa wakas ang pag-aayos ng salang ito. Oo nga pare, nakakapagod din. Mabuti na lang at nandito kayo para tulungan ako. Swerte mo, tita, matutulungin kami. Opo, tita, lalong-lalo na si Mars. Matulungin na, guwapo pa. O, kunin nyo itong limang daan at magmerienda na kayo. Naku, huwag na po, tita. Hindi namin matatanggap yan. Salamat na lang po. Today's episode is of course a Tagalog conversation. And specifically, we call it Pagtanggi sa Isang Alok. Or today's title, uh, the title of today's episode is Pagtanggi sa Isang Alok. In English, Pagtanggi means refusing. Pagtanggi sa Isang Alok means refusing to an offer or refusing to accept an offer and of course the title of this uh, uh, series of um, tutorial or series of episodes here in in uh, tagalog with albine channel the title of the story uh, the general story is called the continuing saga of a half Pinoy. It has been running for more than a year now and, just, and it's continually uh, running just to present and help you with uh, your Tagalog. Of course, so uh, you want your Tagalog to be functional and there should be a scenario when your uh, phrases, statements applies to uh, real world situation. So that's why I am coming up with series of stories, mini stories. And the title is The Continuing Saga of a Half Pinoy. Mga tauhan. Let's proceed with mga tauhan. Mga tauhan means characters. Char okay, who are these characters? First character, unang tauhan, si Mars. Si Mars ay isang half Pinoy at pansamantalang nakatira sa apartment na tinutuluyan ni Rico. In English, Mars is a half Pinoy and temporarily is staying in the apartment where Rico is staying. Second the character, pangalawang tauhan, si Rico. Si Rico ay isang guro sa isang universidad sa Maynila. And our third character for today's episode, si Esther. Si Esther ay isang kasera. Hi Bruce, are you doing okay? So that's what she looks like. 
Yes. Okay. So this is how Esther looks like. Are you? Uh, uh, now you got a clue, Bruce, of what is Esther's character. <laughs> and uh, I thought that Mars was a little ha more handsome than that. <laughs> so that's what Esther looks like. In, in this story, you will find out. So uh, you, dearest listeners, uh, I challenge you to to dig <laughs> our uh, old episodes on how uh, the character of my presentation, the characters of my presentation are being built up throughout the days or the years now. You've, it's your, it's your uh, homework to figure out or to, to really, really understand how we build up the characters in this story. Is that good, Bruce? Yes. Okay. Okay. And let's proceed. And of course, and this is ang nakaraan. Let me uh, help you understand what I said with ang nakaraan. So, dumating ang mga muebles in English. That means uh, the furnitures arrived. The furnitures arrived. Dumating. Na binili ni Aling Esther. Binili means uh, bought, bought, past tense. Binili ni Aling Esther, who bought the uh, furnitures, muebles, si Aling Esther. Dumating ang mga muebles na binili ni Aling Esther. So, na here is a conjunction between two independent classes. First independent clause, dumating ang mga muebles. It has a complete idea. Second independent clause, binili ni Aling Esther. Another independent but complete idea. Okay? Next sentence, tumulong sina Mars at Rico sa pag-aayos ng sala sa apartment na tinutuluyan. Sa apartment na kanilang tinutuluyan. Okay? Another verb here, you, uh, you say tumulong. Tumulong means help, help. Who help? Sino ang tumulong? Sina Mars at Rico. So in other words, Mars and Rico are the, are the subject, subjects. Or the subject of the statements refer to two people. It's Mars and Rico. In Tagalog, sina Mars and at Rico. Sina Mars at Rico. What did they do? Tumulong. Who helped? Ano ang ginawa ni na Mars at Rico? Tumulong sila. Okay. What did and then other details? Uh, other details to complete the statement. You have uh, helping is not enough. So what is all about? More details about tumulong sa pagayos ng sala. Sa pagayos ng sala. Pagayos ng sala means arranging the living room. Did you follow, Bruce? Pagayos ng sala. Yes. Okay. Will you please repeat after me? Pagayos. Repeat after me. Pagayos ng sala. Pagayos ng sala. Yeah. Good. Okay, so arranging the living room. That is what it is in Tagalog. Oh, in English, okay? Uh, specifically, uh, it, uh, if you want another more uh, details on uh, arranging the liver, living room or pag-aayos ng sala, more information to add on your statement sa apartment na kanilang tinutuluyan. Sa apartment na kanilang tinutuluyan. In English, in the apartment where they are staying. Staying means tinutuluyan. Tinutuluyan in Tagalog. Okay? Kanila for their, their apartment. Kanilang apartment, their apartment. Okay? So that's how I would like to explain uh, the, how you would like to understand this paragraph in Tagalog. Bruce, question? No. No question. And of course, to inspire you of our story, I presented a layout of a uh, room or a space uh, where uh, Mars and Rico are staying. Okay? Next. 
Okay, and this is what Rico said. Rico, and this is Ri uh, Rico. Bruce, this is Rico's face. Take a look. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Something new today, okay? Or this year. I thought about it. I thought about it. Something new this day, this year, from now on. And comment down below <coughs> if you appreciate the, the changes that I, uh, I uh, made. Yes, something um, I, I was always thinking like there should be something new or we should level up a little bit. And you as my student in Tagalog, I hope that this in inspires you also to bring your Tagalog to the next level. Okay, let's understand what Rico said. Natapos na rin sa wakas ang pag-aayos ng salang ito. Bruce, repeat after me. Natapos. Natapos na rin. Natapos na rin sa wakas, sa wakas ang, ang pag-aayos. Pag sa lang ito. Ang pag-aayos ng salang ito. Sa lang ito. Sa lang ito. Natapos na rin sa wakas ang pag-aayos ng salang ito. Again, natapos na rin Sa wakas ang pag-aayos ng salang ito. In English, it means we finally have finished arranging this living room. Natapos means finished. Sa wakas literally means finally. Okay, and then here's another character and this is by the name we call uh, Mars. What did Mars say? Oo nga, pare. Nakakapagod din. So, how do we want to say that in English? Just an interpretation. It says, absolutely, dude, it has been tiresome. Again, so in, in, in Tagalog, you would say, Oo nga, pare, nakakapagod din. Bruce, will you say, Oo nga, pare? Oo, oh. Oo nga, pare. Oo nga, pare. Okay. Nakakapagod din. Pagod din. Pagod din. Yes, good. Yes, nice. And, uh, what else? What is the next uh, interaction among these characters? Okay, here we go. And this is uh, Esther this time. What did Esther say? Mabuti na lang at nandito kayo para tulungan ako. Again, mabuti na lang at nandito kayo para tulungan ako. In English, it's good that you're here to help me. Okay, for your vocabulary, if you want to increase your vocabulary, let me tell you that mabuti means good. Nandito is uh, the same as saying here, nandito, here. Kayo for you and then tulungan for to help and then of course ako for me and this is Mars okay Mars suerte mo tita matutulungin kami Bruce repeat after me suerte mo tita matutulong matutulong matutulungin kami matutulungin kami Okay, nice try. Thank you. In English, it means you're lucky, auntie. We're helpful. We are helpful. Helpful. Okay. Uh, suerte means lucky, of course, and tita means auntie. Matutulungin. Matutulungin means her helpful. Matutulungin means helpful. Kami means we. Bruce, no question? No. No question. Opo, tita. Lalong lalo na si Mars, matulungin na guapo pa. Okay. In English, yes, auntie. Yes, auntie for opo tita. Lalong lalo na means uh, more than. Lalong lalo na means more than. Let me say it in English, full uh, statement. Yes, auntie, Mars is more than that. Not just helpful, but handsome. Okay, in Tagalog again, lalong-lalo na si Mars, matulungin na 
Guapo pa. Esther, Esther said, Oh, kunin nyo itong limang daan at magmerienda na kayo. Bruce, which word do you think is hard to say here? Or can you repeat it after me? Bruce? Or kunin ang nayo itong lalo. Limang daan. Okay, one. repeat after me. It's the best thing. Oh. Oh. Kunin nyo. Kunin nyo. Itong limang daan. Itong. Limang daan. Limang daan. At, at magmerienda. Magmerienda na kayo. Kayo. Okay, nice. In English, it means here. When when Filipinos say oh. In English, you read, it means like here, okay? Take these 500 pesos and have some snacks. So, take for kunin. Kunin means take. Limang daan means 500. Limang daan, 500. Of course, uh, you are talking in Tagalog and you are in the Philippines. You don't need to say pesos because uh, we all talking about money, we don't need to say pesos. Okay. So how come it didn't say Sarico at the end of this? Sarico? Yeah. What do you mean Sarico? Oh, well, isn't she telling Rico, here's 500 things, go get, go out and get some more potato corner? No, because nyo is already plural. No. Uh, the no. auntie is talking to both of them. So uh, referring to two people, <laughs> both of you, nyo, because uh, in Tagalog, nyo is a plural pronoun. Whereas here in English, you is a singular and then to other people, plural also, group of people, you say you. So in Tagalog, no, there's you this thing. singular, yin's for everybody. <laughs> or all of y'all. Okay, never mind yes, English. Right. You, you, you for both. <laughs> never mind the English. I'm not digging deeper, deeper into English. Anyway, I'm familiar. With, I'm slowly getting familiar with English and how it is different from different region already. Slowly, but yes, I like to uh, to to proceed with saying like Tagalog plurals. Uh, Tagalog. Tagalog pronouns are more specific, especially with plural and singular. So that's why yeah. Uh, Mm. So if you think, in, in this, if you really heard that it's nyo, it's referring to two people. If you, if it's, if the lady is just talking to one person, the pl pronoun here is kunin mo, kunin mo, you take. I'm referring to you, single person. Kunin mo, mm -hmm. you take. Okay, okay. Magmerienda, it means to have some snacks, okay. Okay, next, let's move on. Okay, then this is the guapo, guapo guy character. Guapo guy. Yeah, the guapo guy. Naku, huwag na po, tita. Hindi namin matatanggap yan. Salamat na lang po. In English, don't bother, auntie. We can't accept that. Thanks anyway. Okay, naku, matatanggap. Say, yes. What does matatanggap mean? It means uh, to accept. Matatanggap. Mata to accept. Matatanggap. Mm. Okay, the two G's confuse me. Because oh, yes. it looks like it should be matatanggap. No, this is but like... it's matatanggap. Tanggap. Tanggap. Okay. Yeah. So it's the NG connector. Like no, in about. this case, this is uh, one word, tanggap is the root word, tanggap is the root word. It has nothing to do with the suffix ng, Bruce, Okay. because tanggap is one word. As so it what's is. ma and what's ta? Oh uh, yeah, so we would be talking about prefix here. Ma, uh, group of verb, if you remember, I already have, did I have a, uh, no, oh. maybe not yet. I don't think so. Uh, about ma i think i have a video on ma but prefix ma but it's all about adjective right but in this case prefix ma but used as a verb as a verb prefix ma means to be able to ma 
is that that's the meaning of na ma group of verb when ma is uh, used as a prefix to a verb it means to be able to i cannot it's it's impossible for me to receive that this is what it means by this hindi namin or hindi ko matatanggap namin is plural the two of us uh, uh, rico and mars are saying it hindi namin we cannot Matatanggap is like a, uh, to be able to. Also, it's hard, it's really crazy to translate it. We cannot be able to. In Tagalog, that is the, the that is the construction of the English English literal translation. Hindi uno, and then we no we cannot be able. We will not be able to. Accept. Tanggap. Means tanggap, tanggap means accept. Okay. Tanggap, tanggap means, means so, accept. And basically he's saying, I'm sorry, no, we can't accept this. Yes, we can't accept <clears throat> that. We can't accept. So if this, if the context is can't accept, in Tagalog we say we use the ma prefix. Matatanggap. Okay. Matatanggap. Okay. And then in other words, it's uh, and then the next statement says, Salamat na lang po. It means thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Yes, slowly getting a hint of Tagalog verbs. Here is my husband is slowly uh, getting to uh, well, appreciate, no Kelly, but <laughs> appreciate Tagalog verbs, right? Yeah, later more learning on Tagalog verbs, Bruce. Okay, next. And of it course, it to loy. But of course, this is the uh, for now. This is what we want to talk about in this episode. It to loy means to be continued. So uh, come join us again next, not next week, but the uh, two weeks after, because next week uh, would be um, uh, lessons or tutorial on Tagalog affixes. It's it, it can either be prefix, suffix, or infix. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bruce, question. Itutuloy. Itutuloy means to I be continued. Means. I was just saying, yay, tutuloy. Yes. Uh, that was the first part of this uh, presentation. Now we will proceed with the second part. There should be a second part for you. And I want you to be interactive. That's one. That's why I'm here. It's not just all about me. This is this. This should be something uh, with your contribution or with your interaction or with your what do you call this participation in this tutorial is what I want. Bruce, do you want participation? Yeah, sure. Yes, and yes, and um, also always join me participating. And please invite other uh, viewers uh, to participate in this uh, series of tutorials. Bruce. Yeah. I said, please invite our uh, uh, audience or our uh, regular viewers to return and join us, especially on our live episodes. We will be going live so someday soon. Any invitation from you? Yeah, please join us. Okay, <laughs> there you go. You heard Bruce. Yeah, okay. as you get back to more normal programs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Of course, and this is uh, my call for your participation. Pagsusulit. Pagsusulit means a uh, test or quiz. Like this, these are the questions for you, uh, especially to those who are beginner or uh, beginners. To those who are already in their intermediate in Tagalog, I challenge you, come on, take these questions and uh, write it down oh, in the comment section below. Like, uh, please uh, write your answers to this question in the comment section. Okay, or also you may write it down on your notebook to, to test your Tagalog if you are able to construct your Tagalog by yourself. Yes, answer the question. First question, ano ang gawain tinapos Nina, Mars, at Rico? That's the question. First question, ano ang gawain tinapos Nina, Mars, at Rico? 
Second question, ano ang kanilang naramdaman pagkatapos ng gawain? Yeah. And another question or a third question, sino ang mga matutulungin? Okay, it's easy to answer. Come on, uh, write down your answers in the comment section. If you want to download a PDF copy of my presentations, be my patron on Patreon. And remember the link, uh, patreon.com slash aralinworld. Since I started my Patreon, so that's my, uh, my uh, approach to my Patreon page. The people get there to my Patreon so that they have a chance to pa uh, download so you have to be a Patreon. So yes. you have to go to, let me guess, uh, patreon.com slash arlenworld? Yes. And then you become a Patreon. You be be, a, be my patron. Oh. In other words, subscribe, uh, support my uh, channels, support what we are doing by being a oh, patron. Oh, they get the podcast too, don't they? Huh? Don't they get the special podcast? Some of my podcast episodes, I put it out there also in, on uh, Patreon. But podcasts can be available on your another platform, another app. Regardless of we, uh, regardless if you are my patron on Patreon or not, mm -hmm. if you have your uh, podcast uh, app, any uh, type of podcast app, you would be able to access the podcast. But okay. those are completely different content okay podcast is completely different content and also on patreon is that i am uh, i am preparing video recorded video of my group coaching that is to be uploaded on patreon and then from patreon they would be able to watch so our... they go to patreon but they have to be members in order to watch those special group uh, Record. lessons yes the recorded so, in video right. not just audio but video but video, and video oh, on patreon that's nice so you have to go to patreon.com forward slash ireland world yes and be my patron you know what it means being a patron on patreon that's a r a l i n w o r l d right yes okay so, so if they want to be a patron, they have to go to patreon.com forward slash Ireland World. Yes, and to be able to download, uh, it's part of my service to upload these uh, PDF uh, tutorials. So that'd be a nice thing for them to do, to go to patreon.com forward slash Ireland World. Yes. To become a patron. Be a patron, yeah. right? And more values for you to okay. get on Patreon. Thank you for your interest in Patreon, Bruce. That was patreon.com forward slash Arlen World, right? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. it. Yes, and let's proceed with quick Tagalog tutorial. Let's talk about um group of verb, Bruce, a little bit of verb, um group of verb. And let's see, examples, dumating, tumulong, tumanggap. Dumating, remember Bruce, dumating means to arrive. Yep. Tumulong means to help. Tumanggap means to receive. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, uh, root words dating for, ta for arrive. Tulong for help. Tanggap for receive. Uh, example, dumating kahapon ang mga bagong muebles sa bahay nila. Another example, tumulong ka sa pagbubuhat ng mga muebles. Third example, walang tumanggap sa alok ni Aling Esther. Okay, let's uh, take a look at this example. First, dumating kahapon in English. Uh, kahapon means uh, yesterday. In English, it means yesterday the, mu the furniture's muebles, muebles the furnitures arrived in their house okay so you see the completely different structure when when you say it in english we say the verb first but uh, 
In English, you would say, uh, the furnitures arrived in their house yesterday. That's mm -hmm. how you said it in English. Completely different structure. Tumulong means help. Uh, pagbubuhat, to lift. Na, to lift the furnitures. Tumulong ka sa pagbubuhat ng mga uh, muebles. Tumulong ka, this, is, this has become in imperative. Imperative. So, you are issuing a command here. Tumulong ka. Okay. And then, walang tumanggap means no one accepted. So, tumanggap has become... Uh, Past tense here because with um group of verb, uh, the infinitive and the past tense have the same format or spelling. Let me get to that um, note here. With um, gr um group, infinitive format and past tense are the same. It spells the same. But the, the uh, context, the way you mean it is different. It depends on how you, it is placed in the sentence. And let's talk about uh, past tense of the um group of verbs. Let's, let me give you this uh, lesson. Example, sentence example. First example, dumarating ang mga bagong muebles sa bahay nila. So take note of the um, uh, Format of the present tense, dumarating. It means uh, the furnitures are arriving, dumadating, in their house. Tumutulong is the present tense for the word, root word, tulong, um, group of verb. Tumutulong sa pagbubuhat sina Rico at Mars. In English, Rico and Mars are helping to lift or to to lift the furniture pagbubuhat okay next walang tumatanggap present tense again no one is uh, accepting the alok offer walang tumatanggap sa alok ni Aling Esther okay and our things to remember uh, something to remember on uh, present tense um verb notice that the first syllable of the root word is repeated I saw that. yes it's repeated uh, <coughs> and then and also apply um verb here U um verb um infix right uh, let's talk about future tense how do we, how do we want to form future tense of the um verb uh, one example Bukas darating ang mga bagong muebles sa bahay nila. Okay. Next, another example. Tutulong sila mamaya sa pagbubuhat ng mga muebles. Take note, I, I use the word bukas. Bukas means tomorrow. So, to make us feel like uh, it's not yet happening. It has to happen later. Future tense. Bukas. Tomorrow. Uh, and the, the furnitures will arrive. Next, tutulong sila. Mamaya. Mamaya means uh, within the day, later, or in a few hours time, or in a few minutes time. It's what we mean, mamaya. Tutulong is the future tense. Okay, next example, walang tatanggap. So, uh, another future tense uh, will accept tatanggap sa alok ni Aling Esther. Okay? And uh, things to remember, Not, notice that the first syllable of the root word is repeated and the infix um is not applied. There's yes, there is, um is not applied. So, Bruce has got to... So, why? So, if it's the um group, how come um is not used? Because it's future tense? Only for future tense, okay. the um is not. Uh, remember that. So, uh, for example, root word is dating, darating. So, because uh, old Filipino letters looks sounds like D and R are just one. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the real word here, I think, is dating. So it should be da dating. Of course, it's also applicable to say da dating. So the root word is dating. Repeat the first syllable. Da dating. Sometimes people say darating. Both are okay. Either da dating or da dating. Okay. Root word tulong. Repeat the first syllable. Too long. Too, too long. And it's on the 
future tense, right? Mm -hmm. Contemplative. Okay, contemplative. Good. Okay. No question, Bruce? No. Yay. And more lessons, for more lessons and other topics, be, visit our official website, aralinworld.com. Some uh, pages or some articles are accessible for free. And uh, come uh, support me also. Support us on aralinworld.com. Bruce? Yes. Next. Okay. And of course, if you find this uh, tutorial or episode helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe please and so that uh, you help me with the uh, youtube al algorithm so that other people will find um, this um, presentation and we want to reach to reach out to as many people as possible right yep. okay and what's next and to wrap up this episode uh first of course you're given a good tagalog conversation about refusing to accept an offer right and another thing to consider or another thing that i brought to you or we our takeaway for today's um, episode you've learned words and phrases to use when refusing to accept an offer and of course you're given uh, vocabulary words to remember and to use in your daily Tagalog practice. How cool is that, Bruce? That's cool. Cool. Okay. Next. And of course, uh, I would I would also like to see you on other platforms. Maraming salamat for being here, and I've got to end this episode. And thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce, for being here with me. And thank, thank you, people, for listening and watching. Yes, and thank you for your support. You're welcome. And I'm sending uh, love, healing, protection, joy, peace, your way. Mabuhay, mag-ingat, magkita tayong muli. Bye.